Hey, how you doing, fellas? You're looking hard and heavy, I am. But it's the same old, same old, you know. I just do it, you know. Did a lot of farmer's walks. Farmer's carries this weekend. Them, them uh, six bricks fell awful heavy. But anyhow, I'm just sitting at my coffee. says, well, I'll talk a little bit. And, uh... I could talk all kinds of stuff, you know. But let's talk about what you're here for, right? Weight training, okay? Yeah, there it is. Uh, overtraining. A lot of the gung-ho guys, you overtrain. Me too. You're going to hit a wall. The thing is to make sure you're progressing. I think I wish I had a thing where I could show you graphs and stuff. So just imagine. It. The thing is to get your progressive weight training in such a respect that the inclination, the progressiveness is that an inclination, like these words, that lets you go that you so you can continue for quite a ways until you do hit the wall. Then you gotta reload. If you make the hike into a rock climb you only go so well you could crash and burn too, but you're gonna hit that point so I can't get it. Now you gotta come down and try again, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> you can do this keep reloading because you you hit the walls fast too fast well you know you get to that point you're going to get to that point anyway you understand from there to there so instead of the spikes make the inclination slower that means patience that means you have a youtube channel you're fucked because you're going to want to bring something out every two three days you know what i'm saying but, uh, if you're just a dude working out, take your time. Just make sure you are increasing every week. What do you mean, weight? It could be weight. It could be reps. It could be sets. It could be combinations of all three. You could have mixtures. You could have a, uh, strength routine. Rest, uh, 20 minutes. I'm getting a lot of glitches. I hope, uh. This machine's working. And then do a whole, then do another routine of uh, building muscle. So you have two distinct routines in the same workout. You can, uh, I mean, the starting strength 5x5 five five is a good compromise between everything. Between intensity and volume, if you want to call that. And singles, twos, and threes, and rep work all right but uh <clears throat> like for me i like to do uh low rep sets and then high rep sets and the rest usually i make them on separate days but i'm in research you can do them on the same day you just say uh, you go you could you 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 could have a rep a low rep routine you could say uh S six to eight sets of uh, two reps each, heavy weight, maybe 80% of your max. You can do it with singles too. Singles work. You do eight sets of singles, whatever that weight is. I would say start with 60% uh, of your weight. Work that until you can get all eight sets. You're going to get a fail. Let's say you fail at seven. Okay, well, you work your way up to eight. <clears throat> Once you get to eight, you add two and a halves on each side. Start all over again. Just maybe starting with, uh, you know, would you start with like two or three sets? And you work your way up to a set. And let's say you can only do two sets at 135 singles. Okay. Well, next time you work out, you try to get three. Then you try to get four sets, and you work your way up to eight sets. When you get eight sets, you add five pounds to the bar, make it 150, I mean, I uh, 140, and start all over again with two sets. Next time, three sets, four sets, up to eight sets. That's one way to do it. There's, there's different ways to do it. Let's say you want to do, still work into the power, the strength, the intensity, 
and you want to, you could also do it this way which works good too three reps this is duck headburn now three sets okay <clears throat> find a way you can you know you can do at least one or two sets of three reps start again around 60 70 percent of your max and work you up to that you're doing uh, i don't know any number five or six sets work your way up to you can do you do three sets of five no three sets yeah three sets no five sets of three see what i'm saying you three reps five sets three 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 you get three three two 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 okay then you stay it that way you see what i'm saying you don't increase the weight every week now you're increasing the amount of reps in a set, but it's low reps, so it's strength training, not muscle building. So you got three, three, two, two, two. Next week, go three, 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 two, two. When you get three, three on all the five sets, then you add five pounds and kick it up again and start again. Maybe you can only get one set of three. But you'll definitely get one set of three if you did just five pounds less and did five sets with three reps each. So you add the five. 140 now, whatever the rate is. Rep usually start around 65%. Give yourself a little leeway there, get that incline. You know, not too hot, not like this. You want like that? And then increase 3, 2, 2, 2. You're going to get 3, 3, 2, 2, 2. When you get all three sets with three reps, all five sets with three reps, you add another five pounds, then you're at 140. Now, you should be able to, if you do two of these workouts a week, Whatever the compound move is you want. It could be curls, standing curls compound to me. It's overhead press. It could be deadlift. It could be whatever the hell you want. It could be bench press. It could be when well, this thing's glitching, so I apologize, folks. Anyhow, but it's a lot slower than every week you throw in five pounds. It might take you two weeks till you get, uh, you know, all five sets with three on it, three reps each. It's just whenever it happens, then you increase, not doing your increases on a weekly basis. You do your increases of five pounds when you get to the end of your uh, routine, which is three on each of the sets. Got it? And however long it takes, it takes. There's the patient. It might take you two weeks so you can get all five sets with three reps. Then you add the five pounds. This thing's glitching. I don't know why. Anyhow, that's another method. So just understand, you take your time. The set routine that Doug Hepburn worked out makes sense. And then you take a break, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then you come back, and now you do a rep set, six reps at a weight. And you do the same thing, five sets. Don't make it, what do you say, three sets? I don't know why three sets. It's arbitrary at that point. Maybe figure there's overkill after three sets. Three to five sets, okay? Now you're doing six reps at a light weight. A light, light weight, you know. Whatever. 50% say, I don't care. Whatever you could do. Whatever you could do eight to ten reps with one time, that's what you do for the six reps. And then you start at six. Maybe six, then it goes five reps, five reps, okay. So whatever that weight is, then you keep with the same weight now until you increase. You can do all five sets with six reps each, you see what I'm saying? Instead of the idea of just adding pounds every week or microweights or something, no. You get your little set, set set up, five, you know, it could be five sets, I don't care, six sets, and then... In, make sure get a rep range if it's muscle building it's got to get six uh, six six to eight reps that's another one you know, there's another one but you're doing a very small increment this staircase of this progressive weight training is so small that it makes sure you don't burn out too soon and you get to your real potential before you eventually going to hit a wall and there's other ones but the slower the progression, the smaller the steps, the less chance of 
crashing and burning. And this other one that came to mind, I floated right back out of my dumb head. What's the other one? There's another one. There's other ones. Just remember, you can use the reps or the sets. Okay. Remember, you have strength building, which they call intensity now. And then you have volume, which to me is the wet reps. Okay. From 5 to 10, 12 reps, it's muscle building, body building. I would say from 5 reps down, it's strength building, but 5 is kind of like the middle ground. Three, two, ones, man. Like I said, you could do singles. You start with a way you can basically do, uh, let's say whatever you can do for, whatever your PRs, drop down about 75, 80%, and just do a single rep. Rest five minutes, do another single rep. See how many you can do. If you can do eight of them, well, then you're too light. If you can't get to eight single sets, you know, one rep for eight sets, then you got to, you, but you got to get at least three in there. If you can only do one, you're too heavy. And then you work up to you can do eight sets at a certain rate. Single, single rep sets, whatever that is, this works. I've done it for the bench. Then, Add five pounds, add ten, but I'd say five. Make that staircase small. Take your time. This whole thing is about patience, man. Add five pounds, and then you can only do what? Okay, with the five pounds, you got five sets before you crash and burn. Okay. you can't. I'm not crash and burn, but you, you can't do it again. Okay. So you just keep working, and next time you work out, you get to that fifth set, you try the sixth set. When you get to six, you'll find out sometimes you get a jump, you get two more sets, you know. Make sure you rest in five minutes between to ten minutes between sets when it's heavy weight. And get yourself up to eight sets of singles. Singles. And you keep progressing out. You can do the same thing if it was twos and threes. But I like singles. I'm nuts, you know. I'll do it all day, you know. And then uh, work your way up slowly. You know, let's say you, you do twos. And then it, out of the eight sets, you can only get five sets with two reps, and then it's back down to singles. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you do, make sure you're, you're still climbing that hill, but you, you're you not doing rock climbing. You ain't going straight up, you know, Yosemite over there, you know. You, you know, you, you screw up, you're going to fall good, you know. So that's my suggestion for today. Slow and steady, you have to come up with a word, you know. Patience and, and lifting slow. When I see if I say slow and steady, I think it's the movement. That's not what I mean. But, uh, make the river come in slow. Take your time, but make sure you're still going up that hill. I mean, don't give me no bully. If it's like this, you're no good, see. A lot of guys, they just stay where they're at. No, you gotta do so. You gotta add another set. Add one more rep. You understand? Something. Alright. And uh, if you're done to do this, it's great. It works. But it's not conducive to a YouTube channel. Because you got to do something every week. You know. Or every few days. And that's what comes into mediocrity. And people getting tempted to take us. Like right now, if I got on gear... Are you freaking kidding me? Right? It'd be, wow, this old guy, you know. <laughs> and then it'd be, where did old Charlie go? He's dead. So anyway, we, you know, longevity, fellas, longevity. All right, so hopefully this thing is glitching like it's going ting, ting, so I know what the hell's going on. But I'm gonna set, I'll send this out. All right, lifting hard and heavy. I'm working out today. I'm doing overhead press. I forgot if I'm doing the... Two or three, I think I'm doing three reps for sets. And I did uh, 12 sets because I'm nuts. But I have to drop it back down to eight or so, you know. And But I know I actually did the two things. I did 12 sets, but I did, I don't know, I did a certain amount of sets with three reps. And then I changed the rate so I could do 10 reps, which is a little too high. should be about eight. So I could do a muscle building and a strength building on top. Always do your strength building first. 
It could be squats. Do the singles, the doubles, the triples first. That routine. Rest 10, 15 minutes. Rest 30 minutes. Go get a soda, some health shake or whatever they got at the gym. Uh, go have some Chinese food, I don't know. And then come back and do your muscle work. And that'll be good. Any compound lift will work. All right. Any compound lift. Any lift, really. But I'm just saying, work your compound lift. It's over 15 minutes. I'll have to drive into town upload this. All right, in any case, lift hard and heavy, fellas. I'm still here. I'm still working out hard. I'm sore from them uh, farmer's walks. I'll do some over. I'm doing over that press today. Still working the arms. Uh, on arm day, I, I had to get to town, so I had about an hour. So I just did easy bar curl. French curl. Easy ball curl. Right into French curl. Rest a few minutes. Man, I got a pump. All right, look. Lift hard and heavy. Get your priorities set. That's another thing. A lot of these guys on YouTube, that's all they do. You know, you got a job. You got to punch a clock. So you got to, your main priorities eating, sleeping, having a place to stay. Hopefully you bought your own property. But, you know I mean, that's number one priority in family. So, you you know, you know what I'm saying? Adjust to your real life. This YouTube ain't real life. It's people, you know. And most of them are geared up. And now they got good careers now. Because they weren't drug addicts. They weren't drug-free uh, uh, weightlifters. And now they're reformed drug addicts. And now they got a whole new career, you know. No one will listen to the guy that said from the start, don't go down that road because it's fucked. They always says to the guy, yeah, I went down the road, it's fucked. Now nah, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Oh, I told you so, okay. Maybe old Charlie knows a thing or two. All right. Later.